Hi friends, uh, welcome to another session of uh, assembly language programming. Today's topic is how to find GCD of given two numbers. Uh, this is a part of the MPMC lab programs. And this is a logic how to find GCD of two numbers. First, we take the two numbers and compare those two numbers. If they are equal, then one of the number is GCD. So we'll take the number two as GCD and directly go to step five where we can move the result into GCD. And second step is if they are not equal, in that case, we'll check if n1 is less than n2, we perform swapping because a smaller number cannot be divided with a larger number. So in that case, I have to swap those two numbers so that numerator is a larger value and denominator is a smaller value. So in that case, I'll perform this swap. And the logic here is divide the first number by second number that is in this case n1 by n2. If remainder is zero, then n2 is a GCD. Then we'll directly go to the step five and take that value one of the number as GCD that is moving the contents of register BX into GCD. Else that means if the remainder is not zero in that case what we do is we take the second number into first number and remainder into second number and we repeat the dividing that is step four again. Okay, so we'll go to the step four. So this is a logic how to find out the GCD of two numbers. Now we will see the program. Uh, this is the program to find the GCD of two numbers. Here you can see that we have taken three memory operands N1, N2 and GCD. N1 we have taken number 10 that is A. N2 is number 4. We need to find the GCD of the numbers for 10 and 4 and the result we store in the memory operand GCD. So here you can see that N1 is the first number n2 is the second number and gcd is used to store the result what we do is first take the number of n1 into ax then we take number n2 into bx then what we do is we compare the both the numbers that is ax and bx if they are equal we directly go to a label called ans that is answered otherwise if first number is less than the second number we will go to another label called swap so swap is there and otherwise what we do is we have to perform the division operation so first we clear the dx because when we divide a number with bx that will obviously divide the register pair dx and ax with bx so for that we need to take the dx as a zero so we have to clear the contents of dx then we have to divide with bx that means dx ax pair is divided by bx then we compare the remainder which is in dx with zero so if they are equal we will say that we got the answer so we'll go to the label called ans otherwise what we do is we have to do that take the second number into the first number and remainder into the second number and repeat the division process for the simplification purpose here what we are doing is we have already written a, a logic for comparison of the numbers and as well as swapping so we want to reuse that for that we directly moving that remainder value into the first number that is ax so here we are moving move dx into ax then we go to our jump to label called compare so where your ax bx will be compared and again the same logic is repeated okay so this will be repeated until you will get the answer okay so if the first value is the less than second value we perform the swapping of the two numbers for that we use the instruction called xchg that is nothing but exchange of ax and bx registers then we'll directly perform the division so here at the label we got the answer what that is in the bx so we are taking that contents of bx into gcd and move ah comma 4ch interrupt 21h will end the execution so end of the execution now we'll move into the execution part open the tasm i have already created the program 
because I don't want to waste the time by typing the program. So the name I have given is GCD. So I'm opening that program. Edit GCD dot ASM. Here you can see that we have declared those three values N1, N2 and GCD and the first number is EA which is 10 and second number is 4. Uh, the rest of the program is as it is that I have shown in the presentation. So let's execute this program and we'll check whether we got the GCD. You know that the GCD of 10 and 4 is 2. So let's see whether we get that 2 or not. So I'm just saving my program and exit from here. So what we have to do, we have to assemble the code. For that we have to use TASM followed by the name of the program that is gcd.asm. So successfully assembled, there are no errors and warning messages. Then we have to perform the link. So we using the command tlink followed by gcd. So at linking you need to know that the file extension is obj that is object file. So linking is also successful. Now I have to execute my debugging turbo debugging td followed by gcd. You can use dot exe or directly you can press the enter. I am just using exe I'm printing enter. So that opens a turbo debugger here. It is saying that program has no symbol table. Yes, I'm just typing enter. Here how we have to execute is take the function key F7 and keep on pressing F7 because that gives you a step-by-step -step execution of your program. That means every uh, instruction is executed and you can check the contents of the registers whether you are getting the correct results or not. Okay, so for that, so I'm just initialized my data segment register. We are taking the first number into AX. So here you can say that 10 is taken into AX. Second, we are moving the number 2 into BX. The number 2 is a 4. So we are moving that uh, number 2 into that is a 4 into the BX and we are comparing it. Okay, they are not equal. Uh, we are checking whether first number is uh, less than second number that is not uh, true or it's a uh, false then what we do is we directly perform the division for that we are clearing dx so dx is cleared and dividing with bx so that will divide ax and dx so 10 is divided by 4 so it divides two times and remainder is 2 so ax will get the coefficient 2 and dx will get the remainder that is also 2 here on this uh, right hand side you can see that ax 0 002 and dx 0 002 is highlighted with white color you can check that then we are checking whether my remainder is 0 or not so compare dx with all zeros but dx is 2 so they are not equal okay so what we do is we'll take the remainder value into ax so that is we have taken 2 into the AX then we are just repeating all those steps that is comparing again AX BX in this case 2 is less than 4 so true so jump below is executed so then we will execute exchanging of AX and BX so AX BX value set will get exchanged that means AX will get 4 and BX will get 2 so here you can see that AX is having a 4 BX is having a 2 so now you can perform the division so then 4 is divided by 2 so it divides 2 times and remainder is a 0 and we are comparing DX with a 0 so that is equals okay so then then that's it that's the end of the program we'll move the result into the um, the variable gcd so here you can see that move triple zero four means you're moving the bx value into the gcd okay so move ah comma four ch just before closing the program i want to show you the result you know that for checking the result you need to move to that view part so press alt v so that opens the view okay so here you can go to the dump area where you can see that 0a double zero is the first number that is triple zero a and zero four double zero is the second number triple zero four so ten and four and zero two double zero is the your answer that is two so the gcd of number ten and four is two so i'm just closing this dump i'm just uh, finishing my execution okay you can see that terminated and exit code now i am quitting from here okay so again i want to open my program so i am just opening my program okay so this is a program for uh, finding the gcd of two numbers friend now we will see whether our program gives a correct result for another set of values so here we have taken the first number as a that is 10 and second number as 3 3 we know that gcd of 10 and 3 is 1 we will let's see whether we get that one or not okay so i'm just saving my program i'm just exiting from this and i'm just uh, performing this assembling of 
program that is TASM, no errors, no warnings, we are performing linking and this is also successful, we just check uh, execution, so here I am not using any .exe because uh, you can give either .exe or directly name of the program that is a uh, TDGCD, we are just performing it, here you can see that this is the turbo debugger, okay, so I am executing it so data segment installation is performed here we are taking first number 10 into ax second number 3 into bx we are comparing both numbers they are not equal their first number is not below so we have to perform the division so we are clearing dx contents then we are performing div bx that is a 10 is divided by 3 3 divides 10 by 3 times and remainder is 1 you can see that coefficient 3 in ax and remainder 1 in dx and we are comparing dx with a 0 which is not equivalent then what we do is we just take the remainder dx value into ax then we perform the comparison then whether they are equal or not they are not equal whether first number is less than second number yes first number 1 is less than 3 so we have to perform the swap so swapping is performed with the exchange ax bx so that means ax will get 3 and bx will get 1 you can see that on the right hand side then we perform the division so we clear the dx then we perform the dx um, division of um, first number by second number so 3 is divided by 1 so it divides 3 times and the remainder is a 0 so that means dx is 0 and you are comparing dx with 0 yes they are equal that's it result is moved into the uh, memory operand that is gcd we'll just see that so here we are going to the dump here you can see that a is the first number 10 b is the second number and one is the gcd number so our program is giving the correct values so uh, this is the result we just close this okay and we'll exit from here hope you understood the concept hope this program will helpful to you thank you for watching the video bye